The anticipation for the release of the Yamaha R9 has been building for quite some time. In August 2021, Yamaha took a significant step by filing trademark applications for the name R9 across various regions including the European Union, the UK, the USA, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Additionally, they applied for the YZF R9 tag in the Philippines. Kervin Boss, the team manager at Yamaha 10K Racing, champions of the 2021 and 2022 WSS titles with Dominique Egerter, confirmed the transition from the current R6 platform into a new superbike platform, which will be based on the MT-09. He also acknowledged that the official informations are scarce on the finalized machine. But before moving on, if you find this video informative, please don't forget to drop a like as it helps the video to reach more like-minded people. With that being said, let's get back to the video. Boss stated, details are sparse. What we know pertains mainly to the racing model, which is currently undergoing intensive development. Progress is well underway. So, I think it will be safe to say that the current Yamaha R6 will be succeeded by the R9 in the upcoming World Supersport season. However, the exact availability of the R9 for road use remains uncertain at this time. According to the informations available, the transition to the R9 model is imminent, with indications from sources in Japan suggesting that a production-ready R9 is already prepared and awaiting release, likely to occur in the approaching autumn season. Renderings provided by these sources offer insight into the potential appearance of the finalized bike. The Yamaha R6, featuring a 599cc four-cylinder engine, was replaced by the track-specific R6 race model in Europe at the start of 2022. This shift was prompted by the R6's failure to meet emission standards required for road homologation. But even before that, despite having incredible sporty credentials and rich racing history, the R6 was a bit too much for most people due to its challenging and uncompromising riding posture and a peaky engine. This led to a notable decline in sales, especially when it was reintroduced in 2017. The sources from Japan also believes that the scarcity of information might stems from Yamaha's intense focus on developing a production model promptly. They speculate that Yamaha is diligently working on this, possibly aiming for a release within the next year. As we all know, the upcoming R9 will utilize the 890cc three-cylinder engine, which delivers a claimed 118 bhp at 10,000 rpm in the current MT-09. This engine emphasizes robust low to mid-range power, contrasting with the high revving nature of the older R6 model, which requires aggressive riding to extract optimal performance. Considering the fact that this is primarily a sport bike, it might be possible that we may witness some significant increase in the top and performance of the CP3 engine. Let's just hope Yamaha won't repeat the same mistake as they did with the R7. The motor is encased in a cast aluminum frame in the MT-09, which is likely to persist in the sports-oriented version, the R9. But at the same time, it could undergo modifications such as a steeper steering head angle to enhance agility. Potential adjustments to the swing arm and subframe are also on the table. There is also a chance that Yamaha might not make the R9 quite as aggressive as the R6. Considering the recent resurgence of comfortable everyday superbikes, there's a chance that Yamaha may lean towards slightly comfortable ergonomics to ease the fatigue on the rider's body. This move could also potentially boost the sales. However, such adjustments might need further tweaks for racing purposes. Finally, the R9 will eliminate the significant performance gap between the R7 and R1 in Yamaha's Supersport lineup. For instance, models like the Fared Yamaha R125, A2 Legal Yamaha R3, Middleweight Yamaha R7, and Superbike Yamaha R1 all have naked MT counterparts that share the same engine platform. However, one notable absence has been the MT-09, leaving a noticeable gap in the lineup. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, 
If you guys enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up or if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time. Ride safe.